uh, areas to the south and east of Medina. I think it's basement time. Guilford Township, Westfield Township, uh, Seville and Wadsworth. I think uh, you folks, heads up for you. I think it's time to head to the basements. Uh, and then, uh, you know, western portions of Medina County, I'm not as concerned about areas west of Lodi right now. Uh, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning that has just been issued for Medina and Summit counties. Uh, we, let's see, let's check our hail. I, yeah, look at the hail that's coming with this thing. Okay, so we have two batches of hail that we are watching. Uh, and the first batch has hail that's just north of the downtown Medina. That's radar indicated 1.7 inch hail, but I have, you know, again, it's melting as it falls, so maybe half inch hail at most. Uh, we've been getting a lot of penny and uh, dime size hail up to nickel size hail. And then over Cuyahoga Falls, uh, or just west of Cuyahoga Falls, coming into the valley, we've got 1.8 indicated on the radar, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually reaching the ground. It's probably a little bit smaller than that uh, at this point. So that's, that's a look at where we stand right now. We have several active tornado warnings going on. We also have that severe thunderstorm warning uh, that was just issued. Let me take the tornado warnings off uh, and let me get the apologies. Let me get my buttons clicked correctly here. Uh, there you see that severe thunderstorm warning. That's in the orange. And then we have flood warnings that are taking place, uh, flood advisories and flood warnings that are in Lorraine, uh, Cuyahoga, Medina, and Summit counties. And uh, those will continue until further notice because we just have this incredible rain that continues to come down with these thunderstorms. We are finally seeing, look up here into Erie County and Lorraine County, we're starting to see that fall apart a little bit, that western edge. So maybe we're getting some dry air finally that's starting to work in here, help to shut this thing down. Uh, look, look at the rain that's starting to fall now out to the east as well. Uh, we're getting some heavy rain now in, Ge in Geauga County. This is not severe, but there is heavy rain in Geauga County, getting some moderate to heavy rain that's firing up in Ashtabula County right now. And uh, as all this continues, uh, as we head through the evening, again, we're just getting a huge soaking here in Northeast Ohio. Uh, as these storms continue to work to the south. But by far, the most severe component of all of this has been Lorraine, Cuyahoga, Medina, and Summit counties. And it's just been one right after the other. Let me grab a real quick drink of water here. Okay. And uh, let's put a shout out to some of our crews. If we can get Shannon Kantner, I know she was out west. Uh, the lightning is out of that area. So if we can get her, uh, I'd love to hear from Lena again too. Um, and um, we'll see how everybody else is doing because uh, I know Carl Bactel is hopefully in his basement right now. He's in Cuyahoga Falls, uh, Big Daddy Carl Bactel. Uh, and I'm sure he's, he's listening in as well uh, as all this continues to move to the east. So again, look at, look at the difference here, okay? This is, this is one tornado warning. Look at the well-defined red next to green toward and away we get bright colors. And then this is the other one. This is very diffuse. And uh, I think very um, kind of coy in how it's looking on the radar. We probably do have some circulation there, but it's not nearly as pronounced as the circulation that is currently in Summit County and that is headed toward Portage County, which is where we have that tornado warning. This is right over Stowe. So Stowe, hang in there. I know you're still in your basements. I appreciate it. Silver Lake, uh, Kent, uh, you're in there in the basements too. And this is gonna continue to the Northeast so uh, the folks up in Streetsboro, Shalersville, uh, we're starting to, to head your direction as uh, this particular cell is trying to move to the northeast. Now, just like we have dealt with uh, to the west, remember temperature and, and the wind and, and how the atmosphere is set up, it's constantly changing. It's always moving. And as I, I see, as we rock this back and forth, you can almost see this thing turning a little bit. Um, the initial circulation is still right here, but watch how this kind of comes down to the, the southeast and starts to turn a little bit. And that, I think, is that temperature boundary starting to come back at us. So see how that kind of comes to the east and, and picks that little spin up again. So that's why we have that concern about that spin up going on right now in the eastern portions of Summit County and northern sections of Portage County. Uh, and we. We are ready for some dry air to come and rescue us from all of this darn uh, wind and, and tornado warnings and all the rain that's happening right now. 
So Cleveland at 937, just a minute ago, decided to continue the tornado warning for Medina and Wayne counties. Uh, the Doppler indicated tornado is near Rittman, so we are uh, right, see the adjustment? I told you every time we get new data, they, they adjust, so that's good. They did adjust on that one. <clears throat> And you can see that it um, continues to move off to the south and the east. So we're, we're generally looking in this area. And we're going to take that down over Milton as it continues to move to the southeast. I think the Weather Service has picked up on the temperature boundary idea as well because they're starting to realign the boxes. Uh, that box, at least, the last two have uh, changed a little bit, but we still have these, uh, I mean, you have to do it based on the storm. That's the whole beauty of uh, these polygon warnings, the, the new shapes of the warnings. You know, a while back, it used to be just blanket county. Whatever county it was, the entire county ended up in the tornado warning, and it didn't necessarily need to be that way. That's what's going on tonight. Look at Wayne County. There's just about a third of the county or a quarter of the county that's in this warning, and the rest of it is not. Worcester is not in this tornado warning. The city of Worcester is not in this tornado warning, uh, but as we get down a little bit closer, you can see Chippewa, Dalton, uh, and Oroville are. Smithville is te technically not. Canaan is te technically not. But uh, Seville, you're right under it right now, and it's going to continue to move off to the south and the east uh, as that temperature boundary continues to interact with all these thunderstorms that are going on uh, in the bigger picture of things. Uh, back out to the east a little bit, still having the concerns right here uh, over Stowe. This is not moving very much. We got a little bit of new information, and, and they made the adjustment on that one. Uh, I am seeing this start to go a little bit more east than northeast. So the city of Kent right now, heads up, you guys should be in your basements. We talked about that before. Rootstown, I'm going to put you on standby. And um, the reason I'm doing that is because it does look like it's, it's trying to come. Parts of it are trying to go to the northeast, but I think the overall push is going to take this off to the southeast like this, uh, which if you kind of take everything into combination, uh, I have a feeling that this is going to follow more of like this kind of a track. So we're going to kind of keep it in between there. So Kent, Streetsboro, you're still in it. Kent, you need to be in your basements. Stowe, still in your basements. Hang in there. Uh, Shalersville, we probably will put you on standby. I think you probably should start heading that direction. And then Ravenna as well, probably start heading that direction. Um, this is starting to look like we've got several little possible spins along a larger area. And that is concerning because at any time uh, within that area, we could have something weak that touches down. Uh, so, yeah, the National Weather Service just continued that tornado warning for Portage and Summit counties. Um, they were saying the tornado is located near Stowe, which is where exactly where we were uh, talking about that, and it's going to continue to move to the east. So Kent, I don't see how Kent is going to get away from this at that point, uh, but I would start to think that, you know, instead of Hudson having the problems, it's going to be more toward uh, the southern end of this warning. And even down into the Rootstown area, um, I would put, you know, as I said, put Rootstown on standby, Randolph on standby, Suffield on standby, even though you're not technically in a warning right now. But I think it's uh, probably worthy to at least put you on standby. Edinburgh, you're in there as well. That whole Route 44 corridor south of Ravenna in Portage County. Um, just hang out with me a little bit here as uh, we continue to track all of this as it continues to move across the area. Let's just check on our warnings. We still have all of these various warnings going on. Um, in the uh, case of the Lorraine, Cuyahoga, Medina County warning, uh, I'm still not seeing that one at this moment. Um, but, you know, that's where that boundary is sitting, and certainly, you know, there's little spins that can pop up in that area at any time. That uh, tornado warning has just expired, actually, so that's, uh, that's done. That, just, that box will disappear in just a minute. That Lorraine, Cuyahoga, Medina County tornado warning has now expired uh, from the National Weather Service. Uh, well, it's got three more minutes, so in the technical world, that's, that's the way it's going to go. They're going to allow it to expire. Uh, probably would be a more... Uh, proper way of speaking about that right now, um, but yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at this right here. Get back into Medina County, right over the city of Medina. This is where that boundary is sitting, and look at all the the lightning that we have going on. Here's some hail, um, and the hail seems to be moving south a little bit. Uh, we're probably getting you know dime to maybe penny size hail in this area. 
But as we go back to that um, the v velocity data, that information, the, the wind data, you can see that we are starting to get a little donut hole here. So that would be a concern. That's right over Medina proper. That's going to continue to move off to the south and the east too toward Wadsworth. So just keep in mind, there's, there's a whole bunch of little spins that are popping up here. Uh, they're not real strong. We're not talking EF5. We're not, you know, we're not thinking this is a gigantic super tornado outbreak or anything like that. But we do have the possibility of some wind damage and some problems uh, as these uh, weaker types of tornadoes continue to, to spin up. And you can see, look how that just kind of roars in there to Cuyahoga Falls. It is, uh, is, we do have several little areas where we could have little spins. See this, see all those little pockets? Those could each be individual little spins, little uh, funnel clouds, or some, sometimes they don't even have funnel clouds. Uh, a lot of this, if we're not getting damage reports, my hunch would be that we're not getting a lot touching down, but that doesn't mean that something won't and that's the problem because you kind of it's a catch-22 we have to tell you about this information and we want to tell you about it and we want to tell you the the most accurate and the best information we possibly can but unfortunately uh, we just don't have the clarification that's needed and now that it's nighttime we don't have any spotters uh, that can really pick up on the the cloud definitions and whatnot unfortunately and um, as they continue to kind of move through um, you can, you can kind of guess as to, to how things are going out there. There's probably a lot of confusion. There's some flooded streets. Uh, now we have an outflow boundary. Check this out. Uh, you see this line right here. You'll see it right there. See that line? That is cold air coming out of the thunderstorms from the north uh, like this. So that's spreading southward. And I have a feeling that that little spin that is right over Rittman, okay, we just canceled that tornado warning. So that was good. That one expired. So we're down uh, to one tornado warning left now. But uh, that we're probably going to get a very good gust of wind coming this way. So let's see. If we follow that, this is going to be a cool, probably actually a very refreshing gust of wind that is moving south. And maybe that is just what we needed to get this whole thing moving out of here. Look at Lorraine starting to dry out. We do have a few pop-ups out toward Norwalk and Milan uh, coming into the Amherst area too, but we are starting to see some of that uh, drying out a little bit. New severe thunderstorm warning just issued for Medina and Wayne counties. There it pops. Uh, and that's for that little wind gust. Uh, okay, so that was the circulation that we talked about coming out of Lorraine County. Kind of fell apart a little bit over uh, Lafayette Township. And now it looks like it's just a wind gust. Anybody in uh, Medina County, I think we can get you out of the basements now. So Medina County, come on out of the basements. Um, Akron and into Summit and Portage Counties. Uh, I'm going to have you hang tight. And uh, here is what's happening. There is our circulation. It is getting well defined. It's over the right in between Stowe and Kent, and it is super slow moving uh, at this point. Now, if we back this up a little bit, you can see how it's kind of picking up and spinning around, okay? It does a little dance, but it is moving east and even a little bit southeast. And this is what we have seen several times tonight where the uh, National Weather Service is constantly trying to keep up with the way that these storms are moving. And I apologize if my microphone shorts out very quickly. I'm trying to plug my laptop in at the same time that I am talking. Uh, <laughs> so uh, as these storms continue to move to the southeast along that boundary, uh, they are uh, spinning on that boundary. And as they do that, it makes things uh, a little bit difficult. There's my power cord. Thank you. Thanks, Bree. Um, and when they start to spin, they can spin up a, a, a small, weak tornado very easily. Uh, that is certainly a possibility, and that's why, we, well, that's why we're here. That's why we're all on together, um, and we are in, in this together, and we're kind of just keeping a big old eye on everything. So um, as far as tornado warnings go, we still have the one tornado warning right now in eastern summit and northern portions of Portage County. Um, and again, I, most of that right now is over the Kent area. And as that is over the Kent area, it is moving almost due east right now. Now we, we are getting other little areas where we're seeing some spin, but by far this is the, the best defined that we have going on. Um, and you can even see how this has just kind of come around and really started to pull together uh, right over Kent. 
So we have the possibility of some big wind gusts coming through here. This is not a giant super tornado, okay? Don't, don't fret over that. Uh, what this is is uh, the possibility of a weak tornado and these little spin-ups can, can cause some damage as well. And uh, that ends up being a, a big problem. So the good news is I think overall things are, are starting to settle down somewhat. We are seeing, um, you know, the storms finally letting up in Lorain County. The rain is finally moving out. Cleveland looks fantastic. Cleveland has had some rain, very heavy rain, uh, and some thunder. But overall, it looks like things are, are starting to settle down for greater Cleveland. You can see how the storm is finally starting to move. Um, and we're probably going to get some gusty winds coming through Ashland County, Wayne County, into southern portions of Summit County. But we still have that one tornado warning right now that is in uh, Summit and Portage counties and specifically over extreme portions of uh, Summit County right by the Kent area, Stowe Kent. Um, that is where our, our greatest concern is as far as circulation right now. And uh, I have a lot of people who are, who are saying on Twitter, I'm trying to kind of bounce back and forth. Um, and, uh, you know, I, there's a lot going on at once, and I apologize if things are kind of convoluted and I'm jumping around. I'm digesting and, and you know, sending out information as quickly as I can. Uh, but, um, you know, I think, it's, I think it's really important to just settle down a little bit, take a big, deep breath, especially if you're with your family. Kids are crying, dogs are barking. I know it gets kind of crazy, um, but, you know, just have to, to settle down, take that deep breath, and just kind of keep an eye on things and how it's going. We do have the greatest concern right now for the Kent area. Other areas, we're still getting thunder, we're still getting lightning, there's some hail out there, but as far as the spin, the tornadic portion of the evening, uh, the biggest concern right now is over Kent. Uh, just had a uh, tweet that came in uh, from Michelle Dockstater who said there was a robo call from the city of Kent that a tornado had been spotted in the area. I, I have not seen any indication uh, via storm reports, uh, chat or anything like that, uh, that there was anything that was spotted by a trained spotter. But uh, certainly that is a possibility. We have seen some very impressive cloud structures tonight. We've seen some great radar uh, structures tonight and um, that uh, you know, it, it's absolutely possible. Here's Marcus. I have another tweet coming out of Kent saying that Kent area dispatchers are reporting that a, a tornado was spotted over the Kent or over Stowe. Um, and again, it's it, it's nighttime. We are getting into where it's getting very difficult to spot, and it it, it gets into scary time now because it is dark and people can't always uh, see how things are going. Uh, and and that becomes problematic, but uh, these are trained spotters who are out and about. All of our police officers, all of our firefighters are trained weather spotters, and they're going to keep an eye on things. So at this point, I would have to say, if you're in Kent, just stay hunkered down. If you're in Stowe, stay hunkered down right now. Uh, that is absolutely where we have our, our greatest concern is over the city of Kent, which is a larger city. Uh, you know, even when the kids are in school or when the kids are out of school um, at Kent State University, there, there is a pretty solid population base there. And as you can see, this thing just kind of dancing around right over the Kent area. This is definitely jogging east, so uh, Hudson over to Shalersville, Streetsboro. Uh, Streetsboro, I'm going to keep you in place. If you're sheltered and you're in place, just hang in there. Um, stay in your safety spots. But Shalersville right now, I think I can get you out of your safety spots, out of your basements. Um, and uh, we'll kind of pull back a little bit and just check on everything that's going on. Look at all this lightning. Oh, my word. It's just a loud, loud night for a lot of people. And that, that can shake you to the bones, too, I know. Uh, so there's, there's how things are moving, and we are finally seeing movement. There's a new tornado warning, and remember how I said we always adjust. So we get new data, and we start to adjust. So I just told Shalersville, come on out of the basement. Streetsboro, I think we can come out of the basement, too, because the National Weather Service has just readjusted the tornado warning. Still, Kent, stay there. Stay in your basements, Kent. It's right, uh, the circulation is right over Kent right now, but now it seems to be moving more southeast, which is what we've been talking about. Uh, after this second push came in, you see how that turn happened, uh, and that is the interaction of, interestingly enough, we're going to just bring it all together, and it's going to be a dun, dun, dun kind of a moment for you. Uh, let me get the lightning off so you can see everything. Okay, we're going to rock this back and forth. 
and you can see how all of a sudden the storm started to change a little bit. It's starting to move to the south. We had this little band come in. This is an outflow boundary, okay? Now, that outflow boundary also came up into that spin that was going on over Stow, and that is pushing the circulation to the southeast. So that's why that thing changed direction. And that is why you see this line, there it is, and then see how it kind of comes around here, and look here, look how it goes right up into that circulation. So that's that outflow boundary, very cool air moving south out of the storm. It'll probably be a good wind gust with it, um, but it is going to be refreshingly cool air, thankfully, but it's also causing this area right here in Kent to spin. So Brimfield and Rootstown, remember I told Rootstown, Stand by. Well, now it's basement time, Rootstown. Uh, Stark County, you are also included in this. The northern uh, corner of Stark County here, up by Alliance, Randolph. Uh, this is north of Hartville. Uh, Marlboro Township is in here. Uh, that is where this, this area of concern is right now. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to track this out of Kent. We're going to head down into the Alliance area. There's, the, there's our, our track on this. Brimfield, Ravenna, Randolph, Atwater, and Lexington. Uh, those are the areas where we have the greatest concern for this possible rotation to continue to move to the southeast. Should Coventry be in the basement? From my friend Ali Rankin, uh, Coventry is not in the tornado uh, warning right now. That's in Summit County, uh, so I think uh, you fi you're fine. Summit County, we're all good. Summit County is done. Stowe, even you folks in Stowe can come out of your basements now. Talmadge, you can come out of your basements uh, if you were down that way. Um, you know, it, it gets into that comfort factor. If you don't feel comfortable, go to your basement. I'm totally cool with that. Nobody needs to know. Uh, but, you know, as time goes on, you, you start to wonder when it's time to come out of the basement, and now it's time. So we still have that circulation that is going on over Kent. Lake Township, in, uh, that would be in Stark County. Uh, you are right now just going to stay southwest of that. So here's uh, Lake Township right here. Uh, and I think this is going to end up going something like this if it holds together. So we'll kind of have to watch how it feeds off of the end of that outflow boundary as it continues to move off to the southeast. Um, and you can definitely see how that thing spun around. That was so interesting to watch how that did that. So, um, yeah, so let's, let, let's back up. We keep doing this. We, we stop, we back up, we take a look at what's going on in the big situation. So here's what's going on in the big situation. Erie, Huron, Lorraine, Cuyahoga, Lake, Geauga, and Ashtabula counties are clear of severe weather at this point. Richland County, that's the Mansfield area, you are also clear of severe weather. Ashland, I believe you're clear of severe weather, but you're going to have some gusty winds coming through, and that may end up popping up some more thunderstorms, especially in the northern end of the, the county at this point. Wayne County right now, the area that is of greatest concern is the northeastern portion of the county. That's where the most active thunderstorm is. Medina County, severe thunderstorm warning continues. Summit County, uh, as far as the weather, I think it's just severe thunderstorm warning at this point. But as far as the tornadic type of situation that would be in Portage County and in northeastern Stark County right now. Now David Doak is Portage County Sheriff. He's on the phone with us right now. David, uh, we've been watching the circulation that's been right over Stowe and Kent. Do we have any damage reports as of yet or anything that you can tell us? Uh, not that I'm aware of yet. Great. That is excellent news. Now what's the flooding situation like? Uh, have you had uh, any reports of flooding in the area? I have not had any calls off uh, about flooding, but the phone's been ringing off the hook since the warning went out. Yeah, and uh, what was the report? Uh, you know, we started getting on Twitter reports of dispatchers saying a tornado had been spotted over Kent. Uh, can, can you tell us a little bit more about that and, and how that goes? Because uh, one person said it was a robocall that, that came out like a reverse 911. You know, I, I didn't get an opportunity to talk to dispatch other than for a moment um, when they called and asked me to call in there. Um, I cannot confirm that right now. Okay. Okay. That's all right. There's a lot happening at once. So yeah, is... I'm living in Ravenna, so I'm, I'm waiting to see what occurs here in the next few minutes. Okay. Well, I think the, the main circulation is going to go just to the southwest of Ravenna at this point. Okay. Uh, and the National Weather Service's radar, uh, you know, we talked earlier, if you've been staying with us, uh, Sheriff Doak, uh, that, 
you know, it gathers a lot of information and then it kind of dissects that information and gives us little pieces in easy to digest parts. Uh, and one of those parts is called a TVS, a tornado vortex signature. It lights up a little signal. Uh, and we had that over the Kent area just a moment ago. So this is definitely a situation where, you know, we have some concerns as far as that circulation. But as we have been watching, it looks like this is starting to go to the southeast. So, Sheriff Doak, I think that will stay to the south of Ravenna. But can you talk a little bit more about some of the areas like Rootstown and Randolph, where this could potentially be heading? What types of areas are those? Um, they're they're rural. Mm -hmm. Anything south of um, Route 76 here in the county is pretty rural. Okay. Um, of course, our concerns are in Richtown. Um, we have Neomed College there. Right. And if they lose power or something like that, you know, that could be a problem. Right. Right. Well, this uh, this circulation is definitely staying southeast or southwest of Ravenna, moving down toward the Randolph area um, and Rootstown. It's probably going to cut a little bit more uh, to the south of Rootstown. But uh, at this point, Ravenna, Rootstown, Randolph, Industry and Edinburgh are in the storm track for this. So thank you so much, uh, Sheriff Doak. We appreciate you calling in. Keep in touch with us as we go through the evening. Uh, and of course, be safe yourself. And please pass that on to your deputies as well to be safe. We will do that. If we get any damage, we'll let you know. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Take care. All right. So just as you know, we kind of keep catching up with how these storms are moving and, and how things are happening. Uh, it is that that particular area of interest is the southwest corner of Portage County, uh, right over Kent. It's it's kind of lingering over Kent at this point, and it is uh, going to be moving off to the south and the east. At the very least, we're going to get some cooling winds out of it. Uh, but, you know, again, it, it just takes one small spin to uh, really get things rocking and rolling. And I'm a big believer in, in being told you're okay. And I I got to tell you, friends, I think we're okay, all right? I, we have not had any damage reports as of yet. I know this has been a long evening. Everybody's on TV yapping about the tornado warnings and whatnot. Well, it's a pretty big deal, and I appreciate everybody's patience who is not involved immediately in these tornado warnings. Um, and as this continues to move off to the south and the east, you know, it, it impacts a very wide area. At the very least, we are going to have some pretty nasty flooding to clean up in the next couple days. Uh, we have had incredible amounts of rain that have fallen over several counties. Cleveland is in the clear. Cuyahoga County is clear of severe right now. Lorain County is clear of severe. Erie, Huron County, clear of severe. Same for, uh, for the Mansfield area in Richland County. Ashland County, clear of severe. Wayne County, hang in there. We still have some uh, issues, especially in the northern part of the county right now. That's going to slide down to the south and the east. Holmes County, you're clear of severe at this point. Uh, Dover, New Philadelphia, and Tuscarawas County, I think you're clear of severe. Same for Carroll County. But Stark County, you have uh, some pretty hefty thunderstorms that are just starting to move south. These are going to be bringing you very heavy winds, uh, or very heavy rain, probably some gusty winds, a lot of lightning as well. And of course, uh, we just kind of continue to see what's going on with this uh, particular storm over Portage County. As it does continue to spin, we are definitely still seeing that spin taking place. And not only, you know, we look for the main spin, but there's also the possibility of some smaller spin ups that are certainly a large problem. And that's uh, something that we want to take care of as well and make sure everybody's okay. So thank you everybody for your patience tonight. I, I appreciate it. Uh, this is is a pretty, pretty big night as far as Northeast Ohio severe weather goes because, you know, to get this many tornado warnings at once and in kind of a convoluted pattern is, is a little rough and, and I appreciate everybody's patience. So um, we still just are focused on Portage County, northern sections of Stark County at this point because this whole area right now um, that's over Kent down into Randolph, that is just going to continue to move off to the south and the east at a pretty slow pace. So Ritz, Ritztown, Edinburgh, Marlboro Township, uh, Lexington and Alliance uh, getting into that storm track on that. So you folks should probably be in your basement, especially if you're in Randolph. Alliance, you would be in standby right now. Um, and uh, let's, uh, let's just see what we can do uh, with the possibility here of, of some of these tweets that I've been getting in. Is Hudson, Ohio clear from Betsy Turek? Yes, Hudson, Ohio is clear. Hudson, you are severe clear. Are the storms coming toward Lake County or what, Betsy? That's from uh, Alex Kayash. No, the, the storms are not coming toward Lake County. That's what we were saying. 
Uh, we have a lot of the bigger weather that's going on south. You're probably getting some rain, maybe light to moderate rain uh, in Lake County and northern portions of Geauga County, but certainly the storms have been farther to the south and they continue to move to the south. And I have no immediate indications that we're going to have any severe weather uh, in Lake County as of right now. Uh, we do have a lot of flooding that is taking place, and that is very hard at this point. Uh, Medina is, is now flooding. Uh, we have uh, numerous reports of uh, flooded cars. Here's a new picture. Um, let me see if I can get the original of this one. Uh, there's some pretty nasty uh, flooding going on right now at Great Northern Mall. Uh, it's one of those friend pictures. Let me tweet it out. Um, we'll pull up my Twitter feed, and you can see there's some cars that are uh, semi-submerged out that way. That's Great Northern Mall. That's in Lorain County where we've had all this horrible flooding. Uh, St. Joseph and John School in Strongsville just closed tomorrow due to flooding. That will be something that we have to follow up with. Of course, our iAlert uh, system is available online anytime, um, and we will probably be seeing more of that taking place. Uh, as all of this starts to uh, unfold as we head through the night. Basement with about an inch and a half of water in it in Bath. Oh, Adam, I'm sorry that's happening. That very heavy rain. Sometimes the sump pumps just cannot keep up. And that is, as we go through the night tonight, going to be a significant problem for a lot of people. Uh, even if you're, you know, you're like, okay, my sump pump is doing great. I'm not going to worry about it. Well, unfortunately, your sump pump has a lot to drain overnight. So it's, you're going to have to keep an eye on it. Um, and if it does stop, um, you know, you're just going to have to take action and start bailing or, or trying to do something. I can remember my father getting a big five-gallon bucket and dipping it out of the sump pump uh, before it was a smaller bucket and then dipping it into the, the bigger bucket as it continued to move out. So I'm still seeing that spin going on in Portage County, friends, and uh, it is definitely uh, right over the Rootstown area right now, Randolph, it's going to continue to move to the southeast. Atwater, I think it's time for you folks to start to head to your basement right now. Uh, Lexington, Marlboro Township, let's uh, start thinking about heading that way as well. Um, we have uh, WTAM 1100 is still live streaming us. Uh, at this time, so it's uh, I appreciate everybody who's listening because of course when the TVs go out It's really nice to have something to fall back on. We've been live streaming at WKYC.com We're live streaming through our app which uh, you can get our app anytime you just text the letters WKYC to the number 25543 we send you a link and boom the connection is made and then you instantly are connected to our app and it really helps a lot because uh, you know even if even if uh, you just kind of keep it running in the background you can fire it up anytime and uh, it, it makes things really easy uh, and of course if you're on the radio then there you go you have that too so let's see here what we have going on so we have uh, the severe thunderstorm warning that continues for southern Summit County. We still have a severe thunderstorm warning going on right now for southern Medina and northeastern Wayne counties. Um, and I just had a question also from JK who said a couple minutes ago you said the Summit County was good, yet the warning has been extended. Well, the warning, uh, if, and I'm assuming you're talking about the tornado warning, that warning was for the spin that was sitting over Kent. Um, and so in order to give the storm uh, its due respect, uh, that warning was issued. There's the portion of Summit County that it was issued for. That'd be Stowe, uh, just south of Hudson, um, and down into the Talmadge area. But the spin is now here, and there's a new tornado warning. They're just updating that tornado warning. Uh, so Summit County is now not in the tornado warning. You're safe, just like I told you, you're safe. Um, but uh, we have reissued now this tornado warning for southeastern Portage County and extreme northern sections of Stark County um, as this circulation, this very well-defined circulation, continues to move to the south and the east. So I appreciate that question. I hope I got that uh, answered for you okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say Kent can come out of the basement. Kent, friends, you may come out of the basement. Uh, Ravenna. No need to be in the basement at this point. Uh, I think you are safe. So Kent and Ravenna can come out of the basement. 
Uh, Suffield, I think the worst of it is to the east of you. So if you're just kind of one of those people that's like, I think I'll hang out in the basement anyway, props to you. That's totally cool. Uh, certainly not a problem. Shalersville, you don't need to be in your basements, neither does Street Streetsboro. Uh, so it's basically Rootstown, Randolph, and then as we go down into Marlboro and Lexington, Atwater, you need to be in your basements as well. Alliance, get ready. Uh, it's going to be on standby mode for the uh, Alliance area as this thing continues to move to the south and the east. See how the polygon, our little warning polygon, has shrunk. Now, interestingly enough, this storm is going to cross over into uh, the areas that are covered also by the National Weather Service office in Pittsburgh. So I'm sure Cleveland and Pittsburgh Weather Service offices are chatting back and forth about uh, what's going to be happening and how they're going to start to handle that. Um, but as far as, you know, all I care about are my people here in Northeast Ohio, so they can handle that on their own. Uh, but I have uh, severe thunderstorm warnings. I have the tornado warnings that continue right now for areas to the southeast of Cleveland. And you can see all the, the flood warnings. Any area you see in green right now, that's either a flood advisory or a flash flood warning. Now, some of the flash flood warnings came out uh, while we were in the thick of things with the tornadoes. And that basically just means it's very quickly rising water and it can be moving very rapidly. Um, and certainly we have seen that. Um, but uh, the, the tornadoes, uh, tornado potential tonight has been such that, uh, you know, we've kind of focused on that. But certainly we've paid uh, enough attention to the possibility of the flooding that, uh, you know, things have been serious in that. We're starting to get reports of basement flooding. There's a lot of street flooding that's taking place as well. Let me take the lightning off here. And I just had a, I just saw somebody who, who asked about green. Uh, green is not in the tornado warning right now. Green, of course, uh, is where the, the weather, or excuse me, the airport is, the Akron Canton Airport, Green, Green Town area. Um, I know it's east, but anyway, um, you can see that there is, there is some pretty heavy rain coming down and some severe thunderstorm uh, warning uh, the, the yellow counties here in southern portions of uh, Summit County, but it's the tornado warning is over here in Stark County. So green is not included in that right now. And again, I'm, I'm on at Betsy Kling. That's the Twitter uh, handle that I have. And um, I really appreciate uh, the information that I'm getting back. And, and I hope I answer a few questions for you. Um, the Triv Show, uh, of course, our, our Radio Partners, WTAM 1100, who we've been simulcasting with this evening, uh, sent out uh, a tweet that said, Westlake schools are anticipating transportation delays tomorrow. Robocalls are going out. That is because of flooding. So they are anticipating flooding to continue tonight into tomorrow, and there may be some transportation delays. So that is something to keep track of. And again, we have our eye alerts up 24-7. You can keep an eye on that. Maybe there's going to be some delays tomorrow uh, of those two-hour delays. And certainly that can uh, screw up some people's uh, days as well. So um, we still have that warning, the, the tornado warning in the Rootstown area right now. Let's get back over there. Um, we have severe thunderstorm warnings in northeastern Wayne County and also southern Summit County. But uh, the spin continues. You can kind of see it's starting to get a little bit more diffuse. That's good. It's right over Rootstown. Um, and, you know, we may have a few other little areas of spin here. It's, it's a pretty wide uh, path that we're just going to give this because, you know, you get into these situations where um, it, it starts to get a little diffuse. It gets spread out, and you're not exactly sure where something's happening. You know, we don't have the luxury of having those really tight, what's called a couplet, um, where we have those really superior tornado signatures on the radar. We don't have the luxury of having that. We kind of have a, a few different areas that we're watching this spin taking place. Now, as I mentioned before, we still are not hearing any uh, reports of damage, like, you know, there's no houses taken out or anything like that that we have heard about yet. But one way that you can kind of hear about different uh, possibilities of damages through power outages. And uh, I just got a tweet from Taylor Hurry that says, uh, Hurley, how about Uniontown? The power is out and we have many areas that have power out right now. And Chris Ty has been following this right now. I know Uniontown probably has seen some lightning strikes down that way, Chris, but uh, where else do we have power outages to talk about? Tonight? Some of the biggest numbers and luckily
Hopefully we're not talking monumental numbers here, Betsy, but areas we're talking down kind of near Fairlawn. We have folks out, about 1,500 people down there. As you look down here towards Cuyahoga Falls, the folks at Ohio Edison First Energy telling us under 1,500, it's a pending investigation. The crews are dispatched. A little west of there, the same story. This is in, you know, near Bath, east of Bath, east of Gent Road, kind of near the Fairlawn area. As we work around Summit County, only two folks down near there. As we kind of widen the view here to all of northeast Ohio, these numbers these triangles sort of look worse than they are. If you look into North Olmstead, I mean, we're only talking about seven or eight or out to Vermilion now. They've been sort of clear for a while, as you've been enumerating. They've gotten their act together. But as we move further south and east into Summit and Stark County, we're seeing some bigger numbers. I want to show you some pictures that are coming into WKYC.com. You folks have been so helpful, kind of being our eyes and ears. Betsy has been talking about it. These are folks from around the area talking on our live blog, talking to us by way of social media. You can see folks' backyards, their their front front yards, their driveways. This is Twitter. Take a look. This is Eric shared this from us. This is North Olmstead, Great Northern Mall. Just take a look at this. There's a fire hydrant in the middle. Kind of gives you some perspective. This is an SUV. The water up above the hood. Now look, this is just since we've been coming to you now. 179 new tweets. This is how really voluminous. We're getting people sharing so much information with us throughout the night. You can see folks here from around the area. Rain meter over four inches. That's from Nick. Uh, uh, we can tell you that uh, folks telling us that their, their situation here has ranged from the benign to quite the serious. Folks uh, around the area also relying on social media and the Edison companies, Ohio Edison, First Energy, to kind of give them an idea of how much time it's going to take to get their lights back on. So if you are folks maybe watching us on your laptop tonight or maybe on your iPad that has maybe a little less battery life than it did before because the lights are out, maybe the Wi-Fi is down, these are the numbers you'll want to really be focused on and we can tell you that our website wkyc.com has it all for you also want to show you our website as a whole is hugely valuable if you aren't able to access it or want to use social media or text messaging you can text 25543 and WKYC will update you keep you up to date throughout the evening also want to take you through a couple other points our website has a lot of different features not the least of which I'm gonna to switch to this side Matt if I can um, these are some of the photos that again tell the story this can tell you it's 1015 it's been dark out now in Northeast Ohio for about an hour and a half so Clearly, some of these photos are not necessarily the most current, but folks are bringing it into us both on air and online. So let us know what you're seeing in your neck of the woods. Tweet at us. WKYC.com has it. Again, if you want to have it texted to you, 25543 is the way to go. And the conversation continues on a busy, busy night. Betsy, back to you at Central Command. Great. Thank you so much, Chris. Now, we do have a few updates. Uh, one is that I-480 eastbound is now closed at the Jennings because of flooding. So we have had just incredible amounts of rain and it's all draining and you know there are some places that it ends up getting stuck. So I-480 eastbound at the Jennings is now closed in Cleveland. Also, I want to tell everybody we will be airing the blacklist and the voice. So the voice and the blacklist will be airing in their entirety, in their entirety, uh, as soon as I clear Portage County and uh, the reason that I am not ready to quite clear them yet is because we still have that spin that is very evident going on right now over Rootstown and uh, I know that our news crews are waiting because we would then have to kind of keep an eye on what we're going to do for our news coverage uh, but as soon as um, you know it's starting to break up yes uh, and as this continues to move off to the Youngstown area, we'll hand it over to our Youngstown affiliate. Uh, they will then take the, the coverage of that if it's going to continue. Uh, but we do have uh, this, the tornado warning that continues. Um, and according to the National Weather Service, uh, we still have that that is going to be going. Boy, we've had a lot going on tonight, haven't we, till 1030. So we have about 15 more minutes of that. Um, I am seeing that break up, and I think that uh, for the most part, that spin is starting to break down. We're getting off into areas where we have uh, not only less coverage, but we also get farther away from the radar, and um, we are starting to see that break up a little bit. So that is some good news. So just to, to reiterate on the big picture of things, we still have the tornado warning for southern Portage County, northern portions of Stark County. That spin that was over Rootstown is going to continue to move to the east toward Deerfield, and then we'll move out of our viewing area. We still have a severe thunderstorm warning for the northeast corner of Wayne County. There are flash flood warnings just about everywhere. Where you see the really bright green counties, that would be Lorraine, 
Wayne, Cuyahoga, Medina, Summit, Wayne, and Stark counties. Those areas are under flash flood warnings. We have very quickly rising water and it's going to stand for a while. And then we also have flood advisories that continue for some of the other counties that you see in green that are going on right now. So I just, um, I just want to make sure that, that you know, my, my Portage County friends know uh, that this does look like it is starting to break up. We have Atwater, Palmyra, and we get into the Deerfield area as well. Uh, Randolph, this is all starting to move out uh, just along Ohio 14 down toward the Salem area. So that's good news as that continues to move out. But again, we still have very heavy rain. We have a lot of lightning going on. We probably still have some hail showing up across some of the areas. Uh, we are starting to see that settle down as well. This is such great news. But right now I'd have to say our primary focus needs to be flooding potential and flooding rains, which is just coming down in buckets as that whole storm system moves to the south. And then we have that uh, tornado warning that will expire very quickly uh, over in eastern portions of Portage County. Um, we can actually, what, can we continue to stream online and we'll start the voice? Can we do that? I'm asking, they're probably chatting about it in the control room real quick. Uh, no? Okay. They didn't want me to stay on or do it all or do nothing. So, okay. Well, we'll, we'll get to it very quickly. Uh, I promise. We do have uh, reports now of uh, flash flooding in southern Cuyahoga County, northern Summit County, multiple reports of flood, roads flooded and cars stranded. So that would be uh, probably down uh, between Brecksville, Broadview Heights, down into Richfield uh, Peninsula area as well as this uh, just torrential downpour continues to move to the south. And uh, it's, it's really, really laying it down, unfortunately. Let's take a quick check of our temperatures. I want to see how this boundary is moving. Okay, you can see we still have that temperature difference between Ravenna and Akron Canton. Uh, this became a real focus earlier tonight because it just seemed that the spins that were coming along in these storms were following right along this temperature gradient, this temperature boundary that we had. And indeed, uh, as that kind of continued to move off to the south and the east, uh, now we are finally seeing a big push of cool air come from the north, and that is helping to cool things down, and that will help to settle the storms down as well. Um, and as uh, that kind of settles down, then I think uh, we can probably lower the flags, so to speak, uh, and cool things off a little bit. Uh, there is the latest uh, radar information, the latest wind information. We are still getting some spin coming out of uh, the Ravenna area, or south of Ravenna, into Rootstown, and moving down into the Deerfield area, Lexington, Marlboro. But it's, uh, it's pretty diffuse at this point. It's starting to break up, starting to spread out a little bit. So I am going to say we'll go ahead and we're going to go back to programming. We'll start the voice, uh, and we will run voice and blacklist in their entirety. Uh, as we go through the rest of the evening and hopefully we don't see anything else spin up um, and we'll just kind of hold on from here. So we're going to go ahead and we'll send you back to programming. I appreciate everybody's patience as I have said before. Stay home. Don't go out. The roads are flooded. Just uh, take it easy and, and hopefully uh, you'll have a nice calm night.